I had this pile of ash logs here. These are going into my enclosed porch. What I'm going to do is I'm going to slab these suckers up about five eighths, maybe three quarter inch thick boards and let them dry out a little bit. And they will become the ceiling and the walls because I don't want to put drywall in there. And plus, hey, I have a sawmill, so got to use it for something. So this is the project that it's going for. We have this big guy here is like 24 inch diameter. This one's like 17, this is about 15. This should give me plenty of boards to do either a tongue and groove or a shiplap. I haven't decided yet, but we'll get to that in a future video. But these are the logs I have on hand. I have the sawmill up there. So I'm gonna grab one of these suckers and put it on the mill, start cutting. First cut went well. This blade's getting dull, I'd say. I cut a bunch of wood with it. I figured at least leave it on there to get the bark off the tree. The bark has the most chance of hitting either something you don't want to hit like dirt or nails or something. So I try to leave the old blade on until I get this squared up. But it cut really smooth. You can see there's very little saw marks on it. The grain's nice and pretty, clear couple little knots here and then little one there but overall it's really a pretty looking piece of wood so far looks like at the narrowest point it'll give you about a nine inch wide board all right so I'm gonna flip it up 90 degrees and then uh, get it clamped down and do my second cut all right we have our can it's approximately 12 inches, uh, looks like 12 by 11 and a half, so it's pretty square. Looks pretty good. A little bit of bark left here, but I figured that'll get cut off as I go down the log, so I'll leave it. I'll leave it be. Here's a nice picture of the grain. So now blade's still cutting okay so i'm going to keep running it and once i start if i see it start getting a little wavy because right now it's not wavy at all it looks pretty square so i'm going to let it let it go maybe i'll get through this log before i change it that would be ideal all right see you in a little bit Okay, so I wound up with 13 5 8 thick boards, and then I got two, one that's like three quarter, and one, yeah, about two that are three quarter. The last two kind of got cut a little wonky, but I can plane them down. But 13 12 inch wide by 10 foot ash boards, took about an hour. I have it stickered and stacked on the trailer, and I got it covered. I forgot my mesh tarp, I'll have to come back another day with that, but... I just put some of that on top to protect it from the rain tomorrow. Should dry out pretty quick because they're so thin. That's a wrap for this one. <laughs> 